All right. Good evening, everybody. So the reason why you are seeing this in your uh, email is because this. I have finished your rubric for the key players of engineering project. And I wanted to go over it with you because I really didn't want to go over it in school. Or I will go over it in school, if you wish. Um, a, hand, a more one-on-one -on -one with this. But I wanted to go over this for some of you who are uh, already completed and looking to start putting your presentation together. Um, the idea of this rubric is really to have you focus on areas five, six, and seven of your rubric, okay? Because really what the whole point of this project is that I wanted you to set up a timeline in which you have your timeline here, okay? And in the middle is your KPOE, okay? So at the beginning of your project, you're going to talk about the before, right? And the before the KPOE is really the people who failed, all right? They tried and failed. And the idea here is that those people who tried and failed influenced your KPOE into their decision or into their solution. Okay, so obviously when you talk to the, about the KPOE, now you're going to talk about their solution, okay, and why it was so effective. All right, so now to really determine whether or not your engineer is a key player of engineering is really the impact. What came after? Okay, how did their solution, their, and then it's their invention, idea, or concept, okay, those three areas, or those three things is really what you're po pointing to when it comes to the impact, okay? And the discussion of the impact is really where the key, the KPOE is born. All right. So what you can actually say is no impact, no KP, no KPOE. So that being said, when you're looking at your rubric, that is why when we're looking at this is to explain the problem that existed before. Do you fully explain? The invention idea or concept that your key player of engineering had okay especially if it's taking from what happened in the past which is very helpful um, I'm adding in that I do want you to have put in the math and the science behind it okay because that's very important because that will set you apart from the people who actually just kind of looked it up and didn't really fully understand everything that they could have over the four weeks of this project. Okay, and then of course we would just went over the impact. How do you show the impact of your key player of engineering? Okay, and remember you're doing this in five minutes. So you're not doing this in an extendedly long period of time. Okay. Um, did the sh team share details of how they made their physical and digital models? You really should be using your digital, digital and physical models a lot. You don't want to be, you know, if I'm going to go back to the, to the board here, you don't want to be standing there, you know, with your model right here and you're not even touching your model, right? If you're not, if, you're not, if you got your model here of whatever you made, whatever, whatever it is, it's um, uh, some kind of doohickey that you made here. Okay, and you're not actually engaging the model at all, you're just standing there. You actually want to be active. You actually want to use, you know, you want to use your face, you want to smile, you want to be talking about what you're doing, right, as you're holding up your model there. Okay, 
and you're using your model to prove your point, okay? So you just don't want to have the model just sitting there doing nothing, okay? So this is not what we want. You actually want to be using that model, smiling, and really engaging your audience so that everybody there is really, hey, man, this guy knows what he's talking about. And that's really what we want to see, all right? And that'll actually get you a better grade, okay? So when you are using the process and you're holding the model, talking about the model and the physical and digital models that you made, both your um, SOLIDWORKS model and the actual different levels of the model that you made, the first draft, the one quarter draft, the paper draft, the final drafts, that helps you tell the story of what your key player of engineering went through because in making it, or recreating your key player of engineering's product, you kind of went through the same process that they did. And so now using that, um, using that model or the models and always having them in your hand is a good thing, okay? So um, I am gonna be giving you guys a grade on teamwork, all right? And that goes with how well all the members of your team actually talk about the project as well as how well you have dressed. Now, if you have questions about the dress, please he don't hesitate to ask me tomorrow in school or this week in school. Overall, uh, effectively, I'm gonna give it to the judges. How effective were you and your team in explaining that your engineer, your chosen engineer, was a key player of engineering, okay? So, um, also, please understand that this presentation is due, we're doing this on Thursday, Okay, conference room B. Okay, and yes, parents are welcome. So if you guys want to come and uh, bring video and take care of that, I will be putting this on Facebook Live, so don't worry about that. Facebook Live, it will be on, okay? All right. Thank you, Emma. I appreciate that. All right. So Thursday. All right. So we still have some days to get ready. So sorry I'm getting this a little bit later than I wanted to, but, you know, things got crazy with the per with the uh, um, field trip. Oh, yeah. And so Monday, tomorrow, Monday, I am going to be giving you guys your preliminary grades on what you've accomplished. This is not your final grade. This is your preliminary grade. Great. So that means how much have you got signed off all the way through Friday? So Monday, I am going to be updating grades. Okay? So make sure you have those things done. If you are not, or you are afraid of what your grade is, please come in before school at 7.30 a.m. Okay? And I am there until 5 p.m. All right? So... Do not sleep on these, okay? All right, let's see how well this goes over. Thank you guys very much for your time, and I will see you tomorrow.